Instead of being moving on to running a new topic, and that is the topic of angles. Now, an angle is where two lines meet at a point. So once we have two lines meeting at any point, then you form what is referred to as an angle. Now today, we're going to be teaching you how you go about constructing a 60 degree angle as well as a 90 degree angle. We're also going to be focusing on how you bisect the angle. So if you should bisect a 60 degree angle, then you will end up with a 30 degree angle. And if you should bisect a 90 degree angle, you will end up with a 45 degree angle. So that is what we're going to be going through today. Now let us look first and foremost as to how we go about constructing a 60 degree angle. Now we have our line here and our line is AB. Now we are going to be constructing a 60 degree angle at C. So we're going to be using C as you know the point from where we're going to be constructing our angle. Now at C, we're going to be opening our compass to a suitable radius. We're going to be opening our compass to a suitable radius. And I'm going to swing an arc. I'm going to swing an arc. Now, if you notice that my arc cuts my AB line, so I will call that point D. Now, at D, without adjusting or changing the radius of my compass, I will go to D and I will cut the arc that I have swung. So, A, B, C, D. I refer to this point now as E. So, have you seen our 60 degree angle? Well, if we should get a different color, and we should draw a line through E connecting C, through E connecting C, and we should brighten CB. Then that now is our angle. So we could call this F. So F C B is equal to 60 degrees. F C B is not equal to 60 degrees. Now that is how we have a constructing a 60 degree angle. So let us recap. We have our A B line at C. We open our compass to a suitable radius at C and we swing an arc. When we swing that arc, we know that just in our chain the radius of our compass, we go to D, we cut that arc. So B, C, F, that is now going to be our 60 degrees. Now, having had our 60 degrees, what if we wanted a 30 degree angle? Then this is called now how we go about bisecting an angle. Bisecting an angle simply means that you cut that angle in half. How do we go about doing that? Well, the distance between our angle here would be DF, DE. That would be the distance between our angle. We already have some an arc, and DE is the distance between our angle. Now, if we open our compass to more than half the distance, then we can swing an arc. And without adjusting our chain in the radius of our compass, we can go to E and we can cut that arc. Now we could call that point G. We could call that point G. So where will be our 30 degrees? If we draw a line from C through our bisecting arc, then you realize that our 30 degrees would be B or it could be G, C, B would give us our 30 degrees. So students, we have taught you how to bisect an angle. We have taught you how to construct a 60 degree or to bisect that angle to get 30 degrees, so we have split that angle now. So we have 30 degrees here. We also have 30 degrees here. So we could also say that GCF would also give you a 30 degree angle.